Caravan sunroofs are becoming increasingly popular, and more and more companies are choosing to fit them. And now Eldis has chosen to fit a new type of sunroof to its flagship Crusader range. So Caravan Times has come to County Durham today to find out what makes this new Skyscape sunroof different. Rob Coyne, Managing Director of Eldis, joins us now. So Rob, this is a bold new look for Eldis. Why have you decided to fit a sunroof to Crusader and why now? Uh, Chris, fundamentally we've, we've done it to give customers more choice. We've observed over the last few years that uh, sunroofs in different guises have appeared on the marketplace. Uh, we have researched what people have done though and how they've done what they've done and coupled with um, solid construction we believe we've come up with a sunroof which is um, better than those that have come before. That's only natural in a development process. So. Our uh, Skyscape sunroof is uh, probably a little bit larger than some of those that people have seen and I guess if the point of, of the sunroof is to uh, suck light in, then the larger the window area the better. Coupled with the fact that uh, with solid construction it's the way we bond it and the way we put it into the van, uh, no external fixings, no risk of water ingress. And what else should we be looking for on the 2014 Crusader range beyond the, uh, the obvious addition of the sunroof? Well, uh, as you say, the Skyscape is, is a pretty obvious addition aesthetically from the inside. Um, and coupled with uh, what I would say stunning new graphics and different colour schemes, a slightly bronzy gold colour on the outside to give it a real sleek appearance. We don't have those large uh, cant rails which perhaps you see on some of the versions of the sunroofs. Um, but there's more to it than just the outside of course, you've got to make sure that the fabrics inside are, are, are pretty pleasing uh, and the wood grains that we use are a, are a richer brand new wood grain for this year. On the Crusaders we have uh, 40 litre onboard water tanks which uh, we've been told over the years by customers is, is crucial to them and the, and the Aldi uh, fully programmable and touchscreen controllers uh, make a big difference. So we've got uh, prolific use of LED lights to uh, uh, create obviously good light but also nice features around the van. And on top of that there'll be a lot of detail spec whether it be the, uh, you know, just the fixtures and fittings, the handles that we use and things like that to make it uh, an all around attractive product. And, uh, uh, the clear glass in, in the windows, which comes as standard, is, uh, is great for a lot of people, but they can uh, move to privacy glass at no extra cost if that's their choice. And it was about a year ago now that you introduced solid construction. How popular would you say that's been with uh, the traditionally hard-nosed buyers of luxury caravans such as the Crusader? Well, I think all, all caravan buyers can be uh, pretty discerning people, and as the years go by, they're becoming more and more so. Um, but certainly, the, the more money um, that, that you want to spend, the more questions we tend to be asked. And so, uh, we find in general, uh, solid construction has been very well received, both at an aesthetic and a technical level by people, and they've wanted to know lots about it and, and uh, all the testing that we've done and the, and the origins. So, at the, at the high end, we found it's been a pretty important feature, and it's helped us to gain a lot of traction in touring caravans. We're probably the only manufacturer that increased our sales year on year in, in what obviously is a difficult trading environment for us. And so we're, we're happy to build upon that. And, and of course, one of the strands of Solid was to allow us flexibility of development going forward. And um, the Crusader, this year's 2014 Crusader, is a perfect example of, of that in practice. Uh, it doesn't look the same as the last one because we can make it look however we like and uh, we think uh, it, it's good to go for a few years yet but when people tell us they want to change it again we'll change it solid construction doesn't affect that one final question obviously i understand you've got a couple of new layouts coming in for the new season what can you tell us about those well, on Crusader, there's actually seven layouts, and I would say only two of them are exactly the same to last year. So, um, new to Eldis uh, for the first time in, in many years is, is transverse fixed beds on both single and twin axle. Uh, but in addition, you'll see uh, variants on the uh, quite famous Super Sirocco layout where the fixed bed has moved to the near side, uh, which opens up the van quite a lot. Uh, the bathroom configuration in the Cyclone, which is a island bed, um, traditional island bed layout, um, builds upon the success we had this year with the Affinity 550 layout, and, and that's proved to be really successful. So I think you'll find that out of the seven layouts, whilst there are uh, some new ones, that uh, I would say probably five out of seven are different to where they were before. So it gives the customer a lot of choice and, and a reason to change for 2014.